Welcome to another W2O4 video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install a set of LED headlight bulbs in your W2O4. But they're not just ordinary, these are the ones to replace the D1S style HID bulbs. Now, instead of just using another set of HID bulbs, you can use these LED bulbs instead. Now, these are Bull Vision. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I wanted to try these out so that I could get a feel of what it's like to have LEDs in place of the HIDs instead. Now, there are a couple of advantages to using LEDs over HIDs, and the most common one is that LEDs come on straight away, whereas HIDs take a split second for them to reach their full brightness. Another one is that LEDs tend to be brighter. Now in this case they're suggesting that it's 300% brighter on the box but let's just find out how much brighter it is. LEDs also use less power, less wattage, meaning that they won't heat up as much as a HID bulb. Another thing I wanted to point out, you can touch the bulb itself whereas with HIDs if you were to touch any part of the light bulb you would deteriorate the lifespan of the bulb itself installing these bulbs takes a little bit of maneuvering and if you're unable to touch the bulb in any way you could find it very hard to get the bulb in perfectly without touching any other part of the headlight assembly. They're just some of the key points that I wanted to point out. This is the light bulb itself. It's a very nice light bulb. It's uh, got a very nice aluminum finish, aircraft aluminum as they point out. And as you see, it just has two LEDs. There's one on either side. It looks very nice. It has its own fan here for heat dissipation. So it just blow heat out of it so it can cool it down. It's a very solid bulb. It is very nice compared to the cheaper style HID lights where you can tell they're very kind of cheaply made. Uh, you can tell they put a lot of uh, effort. They've gone, you know, a little bit more with these light bulbs because, you know, they've just used a uh, good detail of aluminium and the heat sink that goes around the light here is definitely going to help it cool it down a lot. They also make fog lights, turn signal lights, license plate lights, parking lights, backup lights, trunk lights, dome lights, brake lights, and side marker lights as well. And as for the color temperature, I've got 6,500 ones. I really hope they are the actual color temperature because uh, that's the ones that I have for the high beams at the moment. But they also make 3,000, 4,300, 5,000, 6,000, 6,500, 8,000, 10,000, and 12,000. As for the light bulbs, they make H1, H3, H4, H7, H13, basically all the different types of light bulbs out there. And before we go on, I just also wanted to show you how to install it on the headlight itself. Now I've already done videos showing how to install headlight bulbs on the W204 with the headlight removed, so you guys have a full detailed instruction on how you would replace every single light bulb. In this case, we're just going to quickly run through the low beam itself and then I will proceed to install it on the car. Use this example so you could see in detail, close up, how you would go about installing them. In reading the comments in the video I did initially of how to replace the headlight bulbs, people were suggesting that the way that their HID bulbs clamped in wasn't the same as mine and they didn't have clips. Now, it all just depends on the type of headlight bulb that you have. Now, I do have the D1S style HIDs. If you don't have HIDs, projector style headlights in your car, then you may just have simple H7s. This is specifically for the W204 pre facelift that have the HID D1S style bulb in their projector style headlight. There are two types of headlights. There are the projector style ones and then there are the ones that are just regular halogen ones and they don't have that type of projector style headlight. There isn't this whole projector style bulb. It's just a flat reflector with a dome and it just reflects the light out. Be sure to take note of that. I have heard that if you were to use HID bulbs or LED bulbs in a reflector style light, it is very blinding because it 
reflects all the light out without projecting it into a certain spot whereas these projector style headlights it projects it and shoots it to a certain spot that way it doesn't just reflect the whole light out and blind oncoming traffic but that's totally up to you i just wanted to point that out without further ado let's uh, jump into the video and i'll show you guys exactly how you install these headlight bulbs okay so here we have the headlight tilted up now obviously when you install it on the car it's going to sit flat like that and you just have to remove it like so you turn it counterclockwise and pull off the cover now i'll tint it back up so you can see that i have two pins here there's one there and one there you push them down toward the light and then you go towards the center and that unclips like so as you can see now if you don't have these then you probably have a push style headlight where it just pushes in and it clips in you can probably disconnect it before you unclip the bulb itself okay so for instance you could pull straight down on this and just unclip it like so you undo the clip like so and then simply pull the light bulb out to simply install it there is no left or right grab your headlight bulb push it in your connector is at the bottom so you just push that in like so and then clamp it in like you would normally just like that and then simply plug this back in and that's it look how simple that was guys that's how easy it is to use LED headlight bulbs instead of HID ones you probably can't see it properly but there are three pins inside this plug for the D1S style headlight bulb it's also the same for the LED as well there are three pins there and that simply is positioned exactly the same as the HIDs as well the pinouts are exactly the same that's really all there is to it then you simply grab your cover okay it tells you on your cover top so you put that back on and then simply turn it and that's it that's how you install your headlight bulb in your headlight for your w204 now we'll just go over to the car install it okay, i'm just going to remove the headlight bulb case okay and we'll just unplug it real quick undo the clips and pull out our hid there we go that's simple and another thing i wanted to mention is that your pins are on the lower portion of the connector it only goes in one way so you really can't get that wrong plugged in and now you can uh plug it in it's in now just put the clip back on now perfect and uh, now we'll just replace the cover make sure we push our wiring back in put our cap back on and simply turn it clockwise to put it back on beautiful now let's just do a quick comparison it's kind of hard to tell in broad daylight so we're gonna have to do another test run at night and uh let's just see how bright they are so this is the brightness of the LED bulb and this is the brightness of the HID bulb my personal opinion the LED is definitely a little brighter than the HIDs but I'll let you decide all in all this is a really good light bulb I'm very happy with the result and I love the fact that they are error free canvas style headlight bulbs as well so i have to give it to bull vision they really did make a terrific light bulb leds for the d1s style hids as a direct replacement a much affordable option compared to the genuine hid bulbs for mercedes-benz